Often, we don't know exactly how many times we need to do something, just that we need to stop doing it at some point, when a goal or condition is met. For example, once we've made a deposit into an interest-bearing account, how many times must the interest be compounded before we meet a financial goal? To answer this question, we'll use a while loop. First, we'll create a variable for the interest rate and one for the account balance, which has an initial value of $20,000. We'll also create the variable count to keep track of how many times we've compounded the interest so far. We can update the values of balance and count after each compounding period by using the two commands shown. Unfortunately, we'll have to enter these commands repeatedly and check each time to see if our savings goal has been met. However, by placing the commands inside of a while loop, the commands will be automatically executed again and again until our savings goal is satisfied. A while loop is denoted by the loop keywords while and end, which specify the start and end of the loop. The while keyword is followed by an expression called the loop condition. The loop condition should evaluate to either true or false. The remaining commands are called the loop body. When we first execute this while loop, our initial balance is less than 25,000. So the loop condition evaluates to true and we enter the loop body. The commands in the loop body are then executed and the values of our variables are updated as a result. After the final command in the loop body is executed, the loop condition is evaluated once again. Since the new balance is still less than 25,000, we re-enter the loop body, execute the commands, and update our variable values once more. This process is repeated as long as the loop condition evaluates to true. In this case, the balance surpasses 25,000 after the 12th iteration of the while loop. Now, the loop condition evaluates to false, which terminates the while loop. The statements inside the loop body are not executed and the variable values are left unchanged. And just like that, we're done. Well, not with the saving part. <laughs>